Hello friends, welcome to Magnotech YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the electrical comparator. Okay, so in electrical comparator, magnification is obtained by, let us see what is the magnification. Magnification it means, if there is a movement of say 0.5 mm, but you can easily see in a reading in a large manner right so output will be the large of small input that is called the magnification now magnification is obtained with the help of electrical arrangement such as electrical winding now let us understand the principle of working so how electrical winding use right so here you can see the primary coil this is secondary coil right so here magnetic field is generated by the primary winding this is winding so this is called the primary winding so this is primary coil this is secondary winding this is secondary coil so magnetic field generated by primary winding then voltage induced in the secondary winding which is proportional to this core position it means if the position of the core change accordingly voltage induced also change this is the principle of working electrical comparator right now let us see the construction of electrical comparator so lvdt it is called the linear variable differential transducer or we can say transformer is mostly common used as a electrical comparator so it used to convert mechanical movement of this core into electrical signal right so the when the core having some movement okay it converts in electrical signal and we and we can easily define the movement of this core this is the this is plunger which is attached to the core right here you can see in this lvdt secondary coil 1 secondary coil 2 given here this is primary coil so here this is the constant voltage ac voltage given here primary coil and at particular distance this distance will be the same both side in sec secondary coil 1 and secondary coil 2 now when the core is centralized at the middle position it means core is right now in the middle position two secondary middle position of this two secondary winding then the voltage introduced in each secondary coil will same right when the core is at middle position voltage introduced in both secondary coil is same and out of phase which gives the net output result as zero like particular core position at the center the net output result as zero now now when the core move right or left even a small distance and this core connected with the plunger then the differential voltage appears across the secondary in series which is further calibrated in terms of linear movement of the core right or we can say plunger so as this movement over here there is a change of voltage in both primary uh, sorry secondary coil and with this difference of voltage we can easily find out the distance moved by this core so this is the basic working of electrical comparator okay now application of electrical comparator so when whenever if the precise measurement is required then we can use the electrical comparator it's also used for the gauging head right which gives the indication that the dimensions are within the limit or not okay if there is particular dimensions are in limit or not that if we want to check it then we can use electrical comparator now advantage of electrical comparator so as per the requirement variable sensitivity can be adjusted so variable sensitivity sensitivity it means 
for particular input what should be the output that we can adjust it now as no moving parts in direct contact okay so the core move inside it but it is not touch right so there is no direct contact of moving part it can maintain the accuracy over the long period of time then as compared to mechanical comparator higher magnification right you know the magnification is possible in case of electrical comparator then probes are available in compact size now limitations so the accuracy can be easily affected it is it is very accurate so but the accuracy can be easily affected with the change in temperature as well as humidity so these things we have to take care when use the electrical comparator if the temperature and humidity change the accuracy may be affected it is not self control system as mechanical because mechanical comparator no requirement of power but in electrical comparator that is power requirement right for the proper functioning it requires stable power supply now heating of coil may lead to zero drift in the system which can alter the calibration okay which can alter the calibration of the system so if the coil heat then it may be uh, alter the calibration of the system now cost is higher than the mechanical comparator okay so obviously electrical comparator having a higher cost than the mechanical comparator so this is the basic things about electrical comparator so i hope you understand what i said so if you like this video press like button share this video to your friends and don't forget to subscribe thank you jai hind jai bharat